All right, boys, welcome back to another video. Swaggy here. I just got done watching the Texans Steelers game. And overall, here are my main takeaways. This team is back. CJ Stroud to Tank Dell for the touchdown. Neil Hunter had a sack. Overall, the defensive front just dominated. The Steelers had multiple sacks, fumbles. They just look discombobulated. You have a team who is expected to compete for a Super Bowl versus a team that's more of a mystery, right? A wild card team at best. The Texans, though, they're competing with the Kenny City Chiefs as much as anyone in the AFC this season, whether it be the Ravens or the Bills or the Bengals. The Texans are right up there. I think the biggest threat to Kansas City, in my opinion, is Houston. And I've been saying that all summer. The reason for it is not only CJ Stroud, but it's also the additions of this team like Daniil Hunter, Joe Mixon, Stephon Diggs. Once he ends up coming back, the Nico Autry, unfortunately, he is suspended for the first, I believe, six games. But this team is good. They've got D'Amico Ryans. They've got Bobby Slowick. They have an offensive line that at full strength is very good. One of the best in the conference. Just seeing this team go out there and play football is definitely special. Last season, the Texans, of course, had a four win team. They had the lowest odds in all of football to make the playoffs and they ended up winning the division. They absolutely own the Jags. They came into my Colts building in week 18 and beat us to, again, get the division to go to the playoffs. And not only that, but they won a playoff game against the Cleveland Browns, a team that had gained a lot of momentum towards the end of the season. But this time around the Texans, they just have to be better up front, whether it be getting home or running the football, blocking, they just were all over the place, a lot of injuries uh, last season, but you could tell when they went against the Ravens, they just didn't have enough to compete. But this time around, I expect things to be different. This was a good game overall for the Texans. They go out there and, of course, they have that first quarter touchdown, which is Stroud to, to, to Dell. He's back last season. The first half of the season, Tank Dell looked like one of the best rookies in football. He was one of the, really the best playmakers in the game. The dude was just a massive deep threat with his agility. And all of a sudden, he goes down and things just weren't the same. Nico Collins had a breakout year. I'm looking forward to seeing him play. But now you've got Dell Collins and Savon Diggs. You end up re-signing Dalton Schultz, which is going to be big. I also like Noah Brown. I think he emerged last season as a guy who can contribute to this team. For the Texans, both sides of the ball, that's why I like them so much. Offensively, they've got I mean, Stroud so accurate. He knows where to go with the football. So hard to bring down. But Stroud last season, guys... If he had not missed two games, I think he would have been in the MVP conversation. You have someone who put together maybe the most dominant rookie season we've seen in the league. I mean, Stroud went out there and he threw for over 4,000 yards. He had the lowest touchdown to interception ratio in the league. So he wasn't turning it over and he was being smart with the football. Just didn't look like a normal rookie. Of course, there was a lot of talks of coming into the season about Stroud in what was his ceiling but he clearly shut down all of that very high as we know i think he's right up there right now with guys like jordan love and and justin herbert and and players in that type of range i think you have the allen you have the burrow you have mahomes i think right after that again as those guys i just named uh, lamar's definitely in that first tier but stroud if he puts together another dominant season we're going to be talking about him being the second best in the game i mean if he can lead his team to the playoffs like a deep playoff run and go up against the chiefs and battle mahomes I and mean, we could be talking anything to this point i mean when you have that type of first season the expectations are going to be super high but the texans they understand that they know teams are coming for them and they're going to be ready for it they're going to kick off their season in Indianapolis in week one. In terms of the preseason, next week for the Texans, they're gonna be going up against the New York Giants on Saturday, and then they'll finish it off the following Saturday against the Los Angeles Rams. And then it's time to go to start off the season in Indy. It's definitely a brutal schedule for the Texans this year. They play against the Colts and the Bears the first two games. So I would say two wildcard type of teams, Vikings, Jags, sort of teams who could end up maybe making the wild card, maybe not. They're going to be very tough games, though, right? I mean, I think that's probably the weakest game on the schedule now, or the Patriots, maybe. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. The Texans do play the Patriots, so playing against the AFC East, that's definitely one of the divisions you don't want to play. New England, that's a game that's on the road. That's not going to be easy just because of their defense, but it's just one of the harder schedules the Texans have. That's what I think limits their ceiling this season because are they going to be able to win the AFC with a schedule this tough? I mean, we're talking about playing the Packers, the Bills, the Jets, the Cowboys, the Lions, the Chiefs, the Ravens, and the Dolphins. 
there's a, those are Super Bowl contenders. Those are teams that if they win the Super Bowl this year, I'm not gonna say nobody would be surprised because like, yeah, like the Dolphins and Cowboys, I'd be sure as hell be surprised, but they're teams that are gonna be 10 win teams, right? I mean, and division games are not easy. It doesn't matter how bad they are. A divisional game is always a slugfest. So this schedule really does limit the ceiling for the Texans in my opinion. But at the end of the day, if you're a good football team, if you've got a good quarterback, playing a tough schedule, does it really matter? I mean, we saw Mahomes go on the road against Josh Allen. We saw him go on the road against Lamar Jackson and beat them. And of course, took care of Tua in the first round and then beat the Niners in the Super Bowl. And I get it's Patrick Mahomes, but that's sort of what C.J. Stroud is going to have to do. Is he's going to have to put this team on his back and make plays. And of course, the defense for the Texans is very good. They've got weapons. They've got a good scheme uh, led by Slowick. But overall, it's going to come down to Stroud and him just making plays. And if you think about it, you got Mahomes, you got Allen, and you got Stroud. I mean, I would say those are, um, I would say those are the three guys who just can can make plays, right? I mean, Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson. I got a lot of love for those guys, but just those other three that I named, those are the ones who I'm gonna be having at the top of my MVP ballot. My the favorite to me is probably gonna be Josh Allen, just because he does it with both his arm and his legs. He's always gonna pretty much lead the league in touchdowns, and the Bills. They just have to have a good record. And then Mahomes is going to be up there. And then certainly C.J. Stroud. But again, Stroud as a rookie was putting together an MVP type of season. He just missed two games in, in the Texans. That's why they didn't. he wasn't in it. But yeah, that's, that's really it for Houston. I'm excited to see them go out there and play football when the season kicks off, of course, on September 8th. In terms of going to a game, I am down to link up with you guys in week eight when they take on the indianapolis colts maybe i'll end up going to a game before that i mean week eight is like it's kind of a minute away but i'm thinking of looking at their schedule right now versus the bears um that's a sunday night game that's in texas that could be a really fun game to go to actually that could be a possibility um in terms of yeah it's pretty much going to be it. Um, i'm thinking either week two or week eight those are the games that i would personally want to go to week 10 against the lions would be a fire as well i just want to go and see my first uh, football game since what 2017 i think or 2016 i think actually yeah 2016 was the last time i went to a football game professionally so that is a long time so of course the texans they went out there on the off season and they added two new big time pieces on the offense wide receiver stefan diggs who's coming off of another 1000 plus yard season he had 1183 eight touchdowns 107 receptions he's going to be a big time piece to this receiver core for houston next to guys like nico collins and tank dell and then at the running back position Joe Mixon's coming off of a season with 1,034 yards, 257 carries, which was fifth. So you can see this guy's a workhorse.